Hey everyone, Cube here. Welcome back to the channel. Today we're doing flight tests of the Crux 35 airframe. This one's using 1504 motors and this one here is using 1404 motors. Let's get started. So the first motors we're going to try out are these motors right here. These are the iFlight Zing 1504 motors. They're 31,000 kV. So the original motors were 1404, we're going to 1504, so we're going one size up. We're going down in the kilovolts from the 3500 on the original motors to 3100 on these motors. So let's throw this thing in the air and see how these motors stack up. Okay, so just a bit about the drone first. So first thing you'll notice, we've got props in view. Uh, so of course the short airframe, and uh, the, the camera pulled back gives us the the props in view there so it really sort of feels a bit like a like a racer uh, feels like we're flying a racing drone we've got the 750 milliamp hour 4s batteries on at the moment and these are the the r-line batteries we've got a 95c rating so uh, these batteries are going to come down just warm uh, when we finish the flight and the motors Okay, the motors we've got the, uh, the 1504. So we're going up from the standard 1404 to 1504. And we're going down from the standard 3500 kilovolt to 3100 kilovolt in these motors. And of course, when, there's, uh, when we come down, these motors are going to be cool to, to barely warm. So that's exactly what you want. Okay. So how are we flying here? So the best thing I want to do is actually just do a split S over these trees. So a little bit of a high split S and dropping down at the back I'm bleeding on maybe about up to 40% throttle to arrest the fall down the back there which is really what we want. Let's do another one over here. Okay bleeding power on now coming up to 40%. So if the motors are too powerful you're going to you're going to have maybe going to be using only 20% power down here, and so you're not really getting the resolution on the swallow sticks. It's a bit like a uh, bit like your rates resolution. This one here, 40% gives me enough resolution to pinpoint that throttle position to come out straight and level at the bottom there, without ballooning up. Okay, and another thing, the the rates I've got on here, they feel just a little bit, a little bit high uh, compared to what I'm used to. I think it's a, it's a function of the short airframe. Uh, the center of mass is, uh, the mass is very centralized. We've got more roll and more pitch than what I'm used to. I'm sort of having to, to try to get this, uh, get used to this airframe. If I do an inverted look back here, just a slow roll. I can pull it out straight. Let's do another one. Yeah, a bit of overshoot. So I'm really feeling like I, I really want to pull those rates down a little bit. Of course, with these 1504 motors, there's more than enough uh, power, ample power. And I'll get about uh, five minutes actually of these 750 milliamp hour 4S batteries. Get about five minutes flight time. Just doing doing acro like this. Okay, so all in all, yeah, okay, 1504, 3100 kilovolt. These are the Zing motors. More than enough power. Uh, it's just where you want to be, and definitely not overpowered for this airframe at all. So quite liking these motors. And of course the props, we've got uh, the three bay. Okay, three blade props. These are the 3518 props. So 18 mil pitch. If I just do a drop over the back of these trees, I just want to check for prop wash. I'll do a high, holding this the back, 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 and then coming in. Okay, so I'm just uh, bleeding all the throttle on right at the end there, punching the throttle, and just do that again, see if we get prop wash. Up high. Oops. Okay, holding off, holding off. Okay, 
and no prop wash at all so yeah I like these lower pitch props you can put more aggressive props on to get better performance but I really like to stay at about uh, well these ones are 20 mil pitch oh, sorry 18 mil pitch and that's really where I feel like I want to be okay so yeah Okay, all in all, like these motors. The Zing 1504 3100 kilovolt motors for this airframe are definitely a good motor. All right, back on the bench, we've got some brand new motors on here. The original motors uh, were the 1404 3500 kilovolt motors, and we've just changed over to these ones, which are the iFlight Zing 1404 3800 kilovolt motors. So the original motors on the bind and fly version are the 1404-3500. These ones are 1404-3800. So we've got quite a similar motor here that uh, sort of compares to the original motor. And we're going to just take this out and give it a fly and see how these go. Okay, so here we go with the 1404-3800 kilovolt motors. Now I've already put a few packs through here, so I'm just going to talk you through uh, what I'm seeing with these. Watch out birds. Okay, so basically I'm just going to go through, do the same maneuvers I was doing with the 1504 motors. And of course these ones are higher kilovolt motors, but 1404. And this is pretty much similar to what you would, what you'd be getting with the uh, Biden fly versions. So definitely I can say that after flying the 1504s I can actually feel that these ones have a little bit less power and definitely definitely like the 1504s better. Just coming down here I'm pushing sort of pushing up around 50 a little bit over 50% throttle at the at the back of the uh, the drop here. If I go over here for a split S coming down pushing up just over 50% to level out there so yeah. I mean basically Let's do another one here. So basically, if you just put these on, you'd be quite happy with these. And there's nothing wrong with the 1404 motors. But after flying the 1504 motors, well, you definitely prefer the 1504 motors for sure. Okay, so I'm not going to bore you with the whole four or five minute flight of that. Okay, so I think the best motor for this build is this one here. It's the Zing 1504 3100 kilovolt motor. So now I just need to buy four more of them for this airframe. Until next time, happy flying.